It's a scent, Nigeria. That means hello, Nigeria and tree. Hi, my name is Amanda Potelwa. I'm from South Africa. Hello, my name is Mimi Akinkube. Hello, my name is Candace Nkotgisek. I'm from Cameroon. My name is Idoe Nanang. My name is Ifwa Ose. And the most interesting thing I found about Nigeria is the extraordinary hustling energy. And make sure you keep watching. Hello, Nigeria. We do it all for you. We do it all for you. Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Now we're looking at Not Too Young to Run. In 2019, we're going to be seeing lots of young people running for public offices. Seeing as the success of the Not Too Young to Run bill most likely has triggered that. Or the fact that a lot of them are really tired and desperately want to change. Now we have with us a lawyer and sports printer. He, is, um, he creates sports content on radio through brands which connect with their target audience. Now his passion for sports is second to none and he created SAYO, Sports and Youth youth orientation initiative, a platform through which he discovers, develops, and deploys sports talents in Obumosho or your state. Our guest today is Shayo Owolabi, and he's a representative of the 67 Million Youth Initiative. It's good to have you, Shayo. Thank Hi, you for William. joining us. Great to be here. Actually, one of the delegates at the 67 Million. Interesting. You're one yes. of the delegates. Yes. So, now, speaking about the 67 Million Youth Initiative, now, I mentioned the fact that in 2019, we're going to see lots of young people running for office. True. Now, it's either of two things. It's either because they have they finally signed the Not Too Young to Run bill, and secondly, it could be that we're just genuinely tired. Now, some in the older generation have thought these young people are not ready. They're mm. just making a lot of noise, and yeah. they're not prepared for what pol politics and office holding means. Okay. So, from your perspective, in all honesty, are young people truly ready? Yes, um, without unequivocally, we can we can say that young people are very much ready. Especially if you look at the strides young people are making in other sectors, the banking sector in sports, in law, in business, fintech most recently, you know, young people are very much ready. They just need the platform, they need the um, opportunity to run and an opportunity to serve the people and they, they're definitely ready to grab it with both Beyond hands. Beyond being ready, is the, structure, um, is the structure in such a way that it would enable young people to participate? Because what we have sometimes is people are saying, oh, like now we talk about marginalization of the women. Yeah. We don't have a lot of women in politics. True. And for example, our current eight assembly has seven women out of 109 people. Senators, so we're yeah. saying that there's some sort of marginalization and we want adequate representation. Do you think that the structure would allow for that to happen? The structure that we have on ground now. Maybe not in the immediate, and that's that's what I've been trying to tell so many people. But that doesn't mean that doesn't mean people should be discouraged. Maybe not in 2019. And just but so you know, this is, is for the young people I'm asking, not for the women. Well, <laughs> it's, it's safe to say there are women amongst the young people also. So what if we're able to get them through that route also? Because sometimes you discover the fact that some of the women who may be coming in might not you know, might not carry that kind of clout or leverage that we want. But young ladies can actually come in and drive like we, are, we, we want to. But back to, back to the question, uh, uh, more than anything, politics is not a tea party. Nothing will be served a la carte. They need to get in there. It's about getting in there. It's about getting, being associated with parties. It's about getting involved that young people can actually become part of the structure, part of the system that they say is denying them the opportunity. And like I said, it may not happen, especially for those who have not done their groundwork over the last three, four years. It may not happen for you in six months. The primaries are just a few months away. How many young people have really done work to end the party's ticket? That is a, a level. Some people don't even understand that. It's talking about the young people. So it takes time. It may not happen for some people. It may happen for some people in 2019. But it's a process. And we like the fact that the, it, the bill has been signed and there's a process for everyone to get involved. Let's talk about the 67 million youth initiative, one that you're a delegate of. Yeah. Um, who are the people involved? Who are these 67 million youth <laughs> we're talking about? It's you and I. And maybe 66.98 others. Um, it's, it's a gathering of activists, um, politicians, technocrats um, coming together. And for me, it's um, a base for us to drive the not too young to run bill. Because the truth is, when the bill is signed, everyone is just running out of scatter. But if there's a rallying point, that's what 67 million has come to, to, to build. And it's beyond party lines. It's beyond ethnicity. It's beyond, beyond religion. It's just... 67 million, that's the projected number of youth in Nigeria, all coming together to say it's about time we take this nation to the next level. 
So everyone is coming together in, in, irrespective of the parties. I remember when we had the first um, delegates meeting in Lagos, I saw guys from the PDP, guys from the APC, different parties all coming together. I'm guys in government already. That. Because I've, I've heard questions of people saying, are you sure this is not just some strategy, you know, to raise? Because we, we saw your social media awareness, people yeah. posting about it on social media, True. you know, and we, we, people were suggesting that it could be that it's somebody's party agenda, at the end of the day, they will review it's what their intention all, is. It's yes. now, you know, sub, sort of merge into one party. It, yes. So you're saying categorically that it is non-partisan. It is, it is non-partisan. And um, we, mu we must almost come to also come to terms with the fact that the older generation always have a rallying point, either before or after the election, to come together. We see pictures. We see them at social gatherings. They don't fight themselves. Why should we as young people with a the same strategy, the same agenda, the same uh, um, aim in mind come together and say, let's do this. You're doing it in your party, but we know I can vouch for you. I believe in you that you can get it done. It's the party you find yourself. I can't say come to my party for you to achieve your aim. All that matters is for the lives of people to get better. And that's what this is all about. That's what six, seven million is all about. So you'll see different kind of people, guys in entertainment, guys in sports are involved in this. So it's cuts beyond different uh, 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 careers, it goes beyond party lines, religion, like I said earlier on, and ethnic ethnicity. In a conversation I had with a former governor in the last administration, he okay. said to me categorically that young people are joking. There's no hope. He doesn't have hope for the young people. Now, why he said this would be the fact that we unfortunately find that lots of the things that we complain, in the, complain of in the older generation are prevalent in the younger generation. I once had a conversation with someone whose sole aim of going into politics was to go there and eat his own share of the national cake and make <laughs> life better for himself and for his family. That's a very wrong notion. True. But unfortunately, we can't blame a lot of them. So from your perspective, how can we change this mindset in, the, you know, in a lot of young people? Because there are many young people whose sole agenda for going into politics yeah. is because they've seen that politics is a way to cash out and to cash out big. Yeah. How can we rework you know, their mindsets? There's a track record. I, you attended secondary school. I attended secondary school. I know the guys who I can't <laughs> if they say they're doing this. Based on what they did back then. Or should I say university? I'm not trying to run anybody down, but I know people who would say they're running for office from my university days that I'll say, hmm, I'd have a second thought about it. Maybe he's given his life after leaving universities, another thing. But there's a track record. How has this person done in business? How has this person done in whatever he's done over the last four, five years, six, maybe, or thereabouts? The problem we have in Nigeria is people just show up and you have an endorsement from maybe a godfather or an endorsement from whoever the powers that be may be, but there should be a check, a background check. If you're going to get employed in the place and they do a background check on you, why should we not do that for someone who's going into office? I'll still come back to this office? question, you know, because I, I still I want to ask you, but let's look at Godfatherism. You mentioned Godfatherism yes. recently. Have we taken into consideration the fact that there is a system, there is a cabal on ground, as some people have alleged. And what are the plans that young people are making with regards to, you know, not dealing with Godfatherism, basically? It's, it's existent everywhere. Even in business, your CEO likes you, probably might get a better appraisal than some people. So can we say that's wrong in, 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 in that sector? All that matters is, like I said, the young people should get into the system. That same godfather will see something in you that would make him feel this is the child or this is the, 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 the guy, the lady I want to use to achieve this aim. Um, uh, staying away from, from the already existing uh, uh, political structure is detrimental. We must say that. And that's what most young people are, are missing. That, 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 that's the point they're missing. Established political structures are there for the taking. All that matters is for us to get in there. All right, so now back to this question I asked you earlier. So how can yeah. we change the mindset of the young people to understand that leadership is to effect politics, going to politics is because you want to effect a change mm. and not because you want to enrich your pockets. So we already have a mindset. Let's assume that there's already, already a canker worm yeah. you know, that has eaten into the minds of a lot of young people. We, not everybody, True. but there are many people in that regard. How can we effect a change in their thinking and their mindset? What are the practical steps we must do? Uh, practical steps will be um, to have role models. Even from the older generation, which we stand to condemn, there are still people we can hold on to as role models who can actually lead the way and teach how governance should be. I have a mentor who is a former commissioner in Oyo State. He has a very good track record. Is he your godfather? Because I no, know he's you're not my. <laughs> he's not my godfather. Okay. He's just a role model. He's just my mentor. You know, and um, that's for me is someone who I feel 
can interact with people. I see. I, I saw. I just saw. I just saw his post on, on 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 Twitter, and I approached him and said, "I want mentorship," and he said, "Fine." So people like that, and I think that's what what's missing. There are no role models. There are no mentors that young people can look up to. I think that's the most practical step. Because the truth is, when you now get into that office and you want to get carried away, there's someone who can always check you up okay. and say, "Guy, yeah, you're missing the point." Oh, guy, yeah, I saw you do this. That should not be done like that. All right. Without so being most, overbearing. We must open uh, our minds to the idea of mentorship. It's all about accountability. So it's not just about the person who is, who is going to ask for a mentor. Even the mentor himself. You can see some young people and decide, okay, I want to impact. I want to yes. give back. At yes. the end of the day, take a few people under your under wings. Under your wings and they can actually ring the changes we want. And you don't have to be an old person to be a mentor. No, you no, can no, even no, mentor no, no, no. people That's... who are your age mates. Exactly. The people, the there day. are people in office at the moment who are under 40, under 35. What I expect from people like that is to have people under their wings to go into local governments. Let's not forget that's where the rot starts from. Mm. It's right from the base. Let them go into local government, become councillors. Our laws are defective. Most of the laws in Nigeria, I'm a lawyer and I know, are defective. Let's go into the local government, ring the changes from the very foundation. If we're able to ring it there, then we build it up to the state level and at the federal level we'll achieve what we want to achieve. All right, so when your flyers were flooding the internet, the 67 million initiative, people kept asking, what is the 67 million youth? How can I be a part of it? Yes. Now you've mentioned to us that 67 million youth comprises of the average number of youths that we have in our country, True. Nigeria. How can people be a part of this? You, you rec I reckon that you said that we, you had the first town hall meeting. Yes. How can people be a part of what you're doing and basically you know, involving other young people. How can people be a part of the 67 million youth? We know they're already part by default, yeah, but like being well, we actively need, involved. Exactly. There are, well, like I said, there's a delegate system, um, which is um, based on nomination. Then there's also the membership system, which is for you to go online, uh, the website www.67million.org, go in there and register. So people can register um, and be part of it. There will be communications. Of course, there will be a major media launch next month um, in August, and um, people can get to be part of it, and we can get to drive the kind of change we, we desire. All right, so they go to the website? Yes, All get right. to register. There's a platform on the, web, on the website. There's a, 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 a section of the website where What's they can the get to register. www.67million.org. Interesting. Yeah. Now, very quickly before we let you go, there are still some people who do not see the need to get their PVCs. You know, uh. <laughs> I've still had conversations with educated people who said mm. there's no point getting their PVCs. I mean, recently we saw a post um, saying that Bonoboy had said he wasn't going to participate in the elections because yeah. he'd lost hope in Nigeria. Mm. Why should people get their PVCs? We have 29 days to the deadline. Yes, and um, it's, that's, that's the weapon, if, if, if we're going to say that. Um, it's not a war. But well, that's the weapon for us to um, achieve that which we want to. People will say, oh, my vote is inconsequential. But trust me, if, for example, 67 million people say my vote is inconsequential, that's more than the number of people, the total number of people who voted in 2015. So that vote is important. That one person is important. And we need to understand that beyond anything, you would be able to say, I decided that you get into other office and I can request accountability. But if you don't vote for that person, either for or against for that, that person, then you can't request ac accountability And if you don't even person. vote for that person, at the end of the day, you still made a decision. And your That's decision what I'm saying. That you, he's, you still, you he's still very much yes. accountable to you. Even yes. if, if, you don't, if you vote against him, you can say, that's why I didn't vote for you. Yeah. Now you need to justify why those who voted for you voted for you. This so is just a it. reminder that there are no coincidences in politics. And if you choose not to do anything, you have made a decision in itself and you should live with the consequences of the decision that you have made. Finally, you're running for office. Give us an insight. Why? What are you running for? <laughs> and, you know, yes, um, what I'm are running, we to expect? running for, the, um, for a, a, a seat in the Oyo State House of Assembly, um, a South constituency. Um, and for me, that which I stated earlier on, the, the laws are defective. And most times when we talk about the laws, we say the legislative framework. The laws is what the executive will get to work on and the judiciary will get to work on. When that frame is defective, then we have a very, very imbalanced society. So we need to get the laws right. And that's by getting people, the right set of people, into our legislature. If we get it right with the legislation, I'm sure everything will be fine. It's such a pleasure having you. Thank you very much for joining us. It's a pleasure being How here. How can people you. follow you on social media? Um, at Chayo Olabi. Okay. S-A-Y-O, Olabi, um, right. on Twitter and on Instagram. Okay.
Interesting. We've had a very com interesting conversation with Shaya Olabi, speaking about Not Too Young to Run, and more importantly, the 67 million initiative. So if you want to be a part of it, visit the website, and you understand that the weapon is in your hands. You should cause the change by being actively involved in politics and not leaving it for some people to run. At the end of the day, it is the choices they present to you that you would have to choose from. But you can determine the choices that will be presented to you if you get involved as well. Thank you so much for joining it's us. It's a pleasure being here. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.